So there's a look at that wintry mix showing up in the pink. We've got a couple of systems kind of phasing together. That's why we're seeing Stella kind of coming together in pieces. First of all, impacting the south with a little bit of wintry weather, as Reynolds has been talking about. But Monday into Tuesday, watch out as we see all the energy transfer to the coast. There is our huge nor'easter blockbuster storm. And that's going to spill that moisture into the very cold air that's in place across the northeast. Depending on the exact track of the storm, if we're to track a little bit more out to sea, we might see colder air, certainly for the bigger cities, but maybe not as much snow for the inland areas. If it tracks too close to the coast, then the warm air, the maritime air, is too much into play for the 95 corridor, and you may have more mixing going on as well. Here's a look at the snowfall forecast. The purple, the darker purple, that is where we could see at least a foot of snow. We're talking about a foot and a half, perhaps for Central Park and Staten Island, all the way up towards Hartford, Connecticut, Boston. How about a foot and a half of snow for you guys all the way up into the coast of Maine, the northern Rockies, the northern plains today. But then tomorrow we see that darker shade of blue moving toward the Twin Cities. That is your snowfall, some steady snow, some heavy snow at times, reducing visibility. There's your pink. That is the approximation of that 32 degree line. So a wintry mix setting up for some of you as well. As we move it into Sunday night, Chicago, this is when we do expect the snow to be breaking out here in the Windy City, Rockford, Illinois, back toward the Quad Cities for your Sunday night plans. Twin Cities, you're not done yet. We still have the snow coming down even tomorrow night. And St. Louis, here come the temperatures crashing, and that means rain changing over to snow as that cold air works on in. Not expecting much accumulation for St. Louis, but certainly around the Great Lakes, it's going to stay snow for a longer period of time. So that means it will have the opportunity to really pile up in some of these areas. I mean, look at the purple showing up here in parts of the Dakotas. That is where we can see at least six inches of snowfall. Five to eight is what we're going officially. Over towards Chicago, you're right on the edge of the three to five inch mark.